In the vast and ever-evolving animal kingdom, the boundaries between species are not always as rigid as they seem. Across the wild landscapes and within the controlled environments of captivity, remarkable hybrid creatures emerge. A hybrid animal species happens when animals from two different species, well, mate, each a living testament to the complexity of genetics and evolution. From the canids, like the wolves, coyotes, or your favorite domestic dogs, to the big cats, like the lions, jaguars, or the tigers, or even the marine mammals, like the whales and dolphins. These hybrids challenge our understanding of nature's design. Some arise naturally in the wild, like the elusive growler bear, adapting to new environments, while others exist only due to human intervention. Whether engineered for survival, bred for utility, or born from chance encounters, these extraordinary animals blur the lines between species, offering a fascinating glimpse into the future of wildlife and conservation. Join us as we explore the world of 20 hybrid animals, where nature, science, and destiny intertwine in the most unexpected ways. First, we will look at the canid hybrids, both occurring in the wild and in captivity. The canid family includes animals like wolves, coyotes, and domestic dogs. Under the canid hybrids, we will start with the koi wolf. As the name suggests, this is a mix of the coyote and the wolf. This hybrid occurs naturally in the wild and is common in North America, especially in the eastern U.S. and Canada. They are bigger and stronger than a coyote, but smaller than a wolf. They are smarter and more adaptable than either parent species. Next is the koi dog, a mix of the coyote and domestic dog. They occur naturally in the wild and also in captivity. They are rare in the wild due to different breeding cycles and often show unpredictable behavior, blending coyote instincts with domestication. They are usually more aggressive than domestic dogs, making them hard to train. They can be found in the U.S. and Mexico. Up next is the wolf dog. As the name suggests, it is a mix of the wolf and domestic dog, occurring both in the wild where wolves and stray dogs interact and in captivity. They are more energetic and independent than domestic dogs, are highly intelligent and can open doors, escape cages, etc. They often require specialized care due to wild instincts and are sometimes used in search and rescue missions. And lastly, in the canid hybrid is the jackal dog hybrid, a mix of the golden jackal and domestic dog. They also occur both in the wild and in captivity. They are found in parts of Europe and Asia. Jackals and dogs can interbreed producing intelligent and highly adaptable offspring, more so than pure jackals. They can have golden fur with a dog-like build, are more skittish than regular dogs, and are capable of thriving in urban environments. Not to be outdone by the canids, there is the big cat hybrid. There are five big cat hybrid species in this video, but unlike the canid hybrids, all big cat hybrids occur in captivity. First is the ligers. This is the hybrid of a male lion and a female tiger. The largest of all big cats, ligers can grow over 900 pounds due to hybrid vigor. They inherit traits from both parents, but tend to have more lion-like social behavior. They occur only in captivity, since lions and tigers live in different habitats. They can run at speeds of 50 miles per hour, faster than lions or tigers. They have a mix of faint tiger stripes and a lion's golden fur and loves the water, like tigers. Next is the tigon, a hybrid of the male tiger and female lion. They are usually smaller than ligers, but still large. They inherit a mix of tiger stripes and faint lion-like features. They are more independent and tiger-like in behavior. Coming up is the leopon, 
a mix of the male leopard and female lion. This hybrid was first bred in India in 1910. They have the body of a lioness with the spots of a leopard. They are not found in the wild due to different ranges. They can climb trees, unlike lions, and usually have a shorter lifespan than its parent species. They are extremely rare in captivity and non-existent in the wild. Next is the jaglion, a mix of the male jaguar and female lion. A mix of a jaguar's power and a lion's build, often dark-colored resembling melanistic jaguars. This is a rare hybrid. Only a few exist, mostly born accidentally in zoos. They display a mix of solitary, jaguar, and social lion behaviors. And lastly, in the big cats hybrid category, is the puma pard, a mix of the puma and leopard. This mix results in a dwarf-like hybrid, much smaller than parents. It was first bred in Europe in the early 1900s, but not commonly seen today. Has a spotted coat with a puma-like tail. Never occurs naturally due to different habitats. They usually have health problems due to genetic incompatibility. The next category is the bear hybrids, occurring both in the wild and in captivity. There are two hybrids in this category, the first being the Grolar bear, or Pisley. This is a mix of the grizzly bear and the polar bear. This hybrid occurs in the Arctic, where polar and grizzly bear ranges overlap due to climate change. It was first confirmed in the wild in 2006. They are more aggressive than polar bears and are adaptable to warmer temperatures. Grolar bears exhibit physical traits from both parent species. They often have a blend of the polar bear's white fur and the grizzly bear's brown fur, resulting in a creamy or light brown coat. They also have a mix of facial features and body shapes from both species. They are extremely rare, with only a few confirmed cases in the wild. The other hybrid in this category is the black-brown bear hybrid, a mix of the American black bear and brown bear. Although rare, they occur naturally in the wild and are found in North America where both species coexist. They are larger than black bears, but smaller than brown bears. They are more omnivorous than brown bears. They can have either black or brown fur and are sometimes mistaken for pure black bears. The next hybrid category is the equine hybrids. An equine hybrid occurs between different species within the equine family, such as horses, zebras, and donkeys. The first within the equine family is the Zorse, that is the crossbreed between a zebra and a horse. A Zorse has zebra stripes, but a horse's body. They are usually sterile due to genetic differences. They are more aggressive than horses. Next is the Zonkey, a mix between a zebra and a donkey. These hybrids have zebra stripes, but a donkey's darker coating and sturdy build. They are stronger than a regular donkey, are more resistant to disease, cannot reproduce, and have an unpredictable temperament. Next is the Zebroid, or Zebrul, a mix between a zebra and a mule. The hybrids are uncommon, occurring only in captivity and are difficult to breed. They are highly intelligent, but stubborn and difficult to train. And finally, in the equine category, there is the hinny, the mix between horses and donkeys. They have mated for centuries and can be seen all over the world. The hinny has various horse-like features from the head and legs looking like a horse. They also have a horse's speed, but they get temperamental issues from donkeys as well as their cardio and ability to handle heavy amounts of weight. The next category of hybrids is the bovid hybrids. The bovid family includes animals like cattle, bison, and yaks. The first hybrid is the beefalo, a crossbred between the domestic cattle and the American bison. This hybrid was created for meat production, combining bison hardiness with cattle productivity. They are more muscular than regular cattle, have higher resistance to disease, and can live in colder climate. Next is the Zubron, 
a mix between the domestic cattle and the European bison. Some believe that they are one of the most impressive hybrid animal species around. The concept behind trying to get a Zubron originated in the mid-1800s in Poland as a potential to replace domestic cattle. This led to scientists breeding some domesticated cattle with the European bison. They are larger and more resistant to diseases, unlike other cattle or other bison. Males can weigh up to 2,600 pounds, while females weigh up to 1,790 pounds, meaning they can be used for meat. Both are strong and can tolerate horrific weather conditions, making for perfect carrying aid. Next is the Duzo. The Duzo is a fascinating hybrid resulting from the crossbreeding of a wild yak and domestic cattle. They are primarily found in the mountainous regions of Central Asia, including Tibet and Mongolia. They are bred for their strength and productivity. They are used as pack animals, capable of carrying heavy loads across mountainous terrain. They are also more productive in terms of milk and meat compared to their parent species. They are larger and stronger than either yaks or domestic cattle, with a robust build and a mix of features from both parents. Next, we will take a look at some marine mammal hybrids. This is a holfin, the crossbreed between a male false killer whale and a female common bottlenose dolphin. They are extremely rare with only a few existing in marine parks. The first recorded holfin was born in 1981 at Tokyo SeaWorld, but it only lived for 200 days. The first holfin in the United States and the first to survive was Kekaimalu, born at Sea Life Park in Hawaii on May 15, 1985. Holfins exhibit physical characteristics intermediate between their parent species. They have a body size that is halfway between a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale with a darker gray skin color. Their teeth count is also an average between the two species, typically having 66 teeth. Holfins display behaviors from both parent species. They are intelligent, highly social, and can be trained to perform complex tasks. Kekaimalu, the first surviving holfin, proved to be fertile and gave birth to several calves. Her offspring are three-quarters bottlenose dolphin and one-quarter false killer whale. Holfins are extremely rare, with only a few known specimens ever documented. They have been observed both in captivity and in the wild. And the final hybrid in this video is the narluga, a fascinating creature resulting from the mating of a female narwhal and a male beluga whale. The existence of narlugas was hypothesized for decades before its discovery. The first known specimen was identified in the 1980s by an Inuit hunter in West Greenland, who noticed the unusual characteristics of the animal. Narlugas exhibit a mix of traits from both parent species. They have a skull larger than either a narwhal or a beluga, with teeth that are spiraled like a narwhal's tusk, but more numerous. Their skin is uniformly gray, and they have pectoral flippers similar to belugas. Genetic analysis confirmed that the narluga's DNA is approximately 54% beluga and 46% narwhal. Unlike their pelagic feeding parents, narlugas have isotopic carbon readings consistent with a benthic foraging strategy, suggesting they may feed off the ocean floor. This hybrid is extremely rare, with only a few known specimens ever documented. As we come to a close in this video, one thing becomes clear. Nature is more adaptable and unpredictable than we ever imagined. Some hybrids thrive, carving out new ecological niches, while others struggle with sterility or health complications. As science and conservation efforts continue to evolve, one has to wonder, will hybrids become a bridge between species, a warning of ecological shifts, or simply rare anomalies? One thing is certain, hybrid animals challenge our perceptions of what is possible. 
reminding us that in nature, the rules are always being rewritten. That's it for today on Curious Gate. Please remember to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications so you don't miss when we upload new content. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious.